Okay, so we are going to make our let statements. We're going to have x equal surf perch, which makes me want to Google and see what kind of sea creature that is. And we're going to make y equal rockfish. Okay, I want to go back through again. It says here, gaming laws allow you to catch no more than 15 surf perch per day. That means my X is going to have to be less than or equal to 15. My Y is going to be less than or equal to what number? 10. And x plus y is less than or equal what's our total max of 20? This is a system of inequalities. <clears throat> Now before we can graph these, each of them has to be graphable, meaning simplified to one variable. This is simplified to one, this is simplified to one. We need to convert this to just having y to the left of the inequality. So we're gonna rewrite this. Is y is less than, less than or equal to negative x plus 20. Now to start graphing, we have to label our graphs first. This is my y-axis. This is my x-axis. They already have some numbers on them. We need to put the words. What word should go down underneath x? Uh, surf, surf perch. And along the y? Okay, I'm going to take our first equation here, our first inequality. x is less than or equal to 15. If it's x, it's undefined. Where's the line for 15? This is 12, 14, 16. So it's going to be halfway between 14 and 16. It's less than or, so it's going to be what kind of line? And it's less than or equal to, so we shade to the? Notice I'm not going beyond my y axis because in this problem, we're not going to be catching anything in the negative. How are you catching negative? You don't, that's the point. Okay. Next, we're going to graph the y is less than or equal to 10. I see 4, 8, 12. That means that if they're counting by twos, but skipping every other number that they're doing. So this line here is my 10. Less than or equal to. So I'm going to shade below the line.
<clears throat> and finally, we have the equation that we had to convert. Inequality, I keep saying equation. This is starting at positive 20. And it's going down at a negative 1 over 1 slope. That means its line is going to end at 20. Because if it keeps going down by 1 over 1 over 1 over 1, it's going to end up at the same number on the other side of the graph. So I'm going to draw a solid line from 20 to 20. Hmm? Yeah. I'm trying to color coordinate as I go. So instead of a double shaded zone this time, we're getting a triple shaded zone. I live to blow David's mind. <laughs> Follow him on Twitter. Okay. Uh, you guys can catch up on the shading later. I need you with me because we are limited on time. We're going to use our graph to determine if we can catch 11 super surf perch and 9 rockfish. So I'm going to go over to 11 and up to 9. And to be honest, it's kind of hard to tell. Oh wait, I just put 11 at 10. Here's 11, 9. I forgot this was going by twos. So this seems to be just underneath that line, doesn't it? The other way I can check to see if it's going to work is I can redo all three of these equations and put in 11 comma 9. So for the first equation, I'm going to put 11 is less than or equal to 15, and that's true. That's going with this first equation here. David, can you get it? Y is less than or equal to 10. So is 9 less than or equal to 10? So it's true. Again, you don't need to do this. I'm just doing the color coordinating for people who may not be here to see. And then our final equation, we're going to plug these numbers in and see if it works. I have 11 plus 9 is less than or equal to 20. And I get 20 is less than or equal to 20. Is that also true? So this one goes with this one, and we found by using our equations, or our inequalities, why well, I cannot say that ever, we found by reusing our three inequalities and entering the, the xy pair, and we found by looking at our graph that it is possible to catch 11 surf perch and 9 rockfish and max out getting 20 fish with this permit. Can we see what a surf perch looks like? What?